we'll guide you through how to add mods to your Apex Minecraft server and also how to install them on your computer so you can go and join that modded server. If you find this guide useful then please consider subscribing and liking the video and let's get started. A big thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. If you haven't already got your Apex server then click on the link in the description or the comments and then you can get taken to this page here and you can purchase one. I use Apex myself and they're one of the best hosts out there. At the moment you can get 50% off monthly plans as well and they've got so many awesome benefits like instant setup, a powerful panel and so many other awesome features as well. So if you haven't got one go and purchase one. If you have already got one then come to Apex hosting website and go to the top right and click on panel and you'll need to go and sign into your panel account. You've gone and you will have gone and got those details sent in an email when you purchased your server. And then what you want to do is go to the top right and click on your servers just like so and here we are in my server. Now what we need to do is go and open up a new tab and we need to find the mod or mods which you want to go and install. So a great place to go and get mods from is a place called CurseForge. So search for that and it's curseforge.com and then go and click on Minecraft in the featured games and you can then go and go through the categories. In this case, I wanna look at mods and tap on view all like this. And then I can go and find a mod which I want. In this case here, I want this mod called exclusive weapons, armor and tools. So go and click on it like this and then go and click on files. And what we need to do is choose the game version we want and also the mod loader. So I like to go and use Forge and the game version is 1.20.1. It's super important you note this down because we'll then set the server to the same game version and our own Minecraft client to the same one as well. So make sure you know the game version and the mod loader and go over to the right and click on the three dots and tap on download file and it should then start downloading. Mine's gone and downloaded and then what you want to do is come back to your server like this and then scroll down on this server page until you get to game file. And what we need to do is select this option here and we need to go and search for forge like this and then scroll down and we need to get forge 1.20.1 as that's the version of the mod we downloaded like this. And it then says changing versions will overwrite your existing mods. We'll do that's fine. And then what you want to do as well is create a new world for this because some mods are gonna go and need a new world to generate ores and things like that. Don't worry, your old world will be saved and you can go back to it. So let's press create new world and then press I'll restart later because we need to go and add the mod. Um, so once you've changed the game version, then head over to the left and you need to go and press on FTP file access and then you need to go and sign in. Um, so this is the same password for your control panel. I'll use that. And then we're now in here. And now what we're gonna need to do is create a mods folder if there isn't already one. So as you can see, there is no mods folder. So I'll head over to the left and press on new folder. And then I'll go and name this uh, mods like so and press submit. And now it's been created. And then just press back for now and just wait. And then here it is here, go and click on it. And what you then want to do is come up to the top left and press on upload. Now we can click on add files and our file explorer will open and we can go and select the mod which you want to upload. Here's the mod I just downloaded. So I've got it selected and I can then go and press on open and now it's uploading. It's now uploaded and then you can press back in the top left and now it should be in that folder we just created. As you can see, here it is. Now that we've added the mod, we need to go to the top left and press on back and press back again. And now what we can do is go and restart the server just so the mod is then being ran on the server. So now you've added the mod to the server, but if we could try and join it, it's not going to let us because we aren't running Forge on our own computer. So what we now need to do is download and install Forge. So open up a new tab and then just go and search for Forge like so and go to the official Forge website. And once again, we need to get the same version of Forge, which is on our server and for the mod, which is 1.20.1. We can then press an installer and you'll be taken to an add wall. Just be aware there may be downloads button here, but there isn't actually gonna download the mod. Just wait in the top right until the time is finished and you can then press skip and the download should begin. Forge has now finished downloading. And so what we can do is go minimize out of our browser and we can open up our downloads. And so here's the Forge installer. I'm just gonna drag it onto my desktop like so. And then what you need to do is just double click on it like this, and you should get the mod system installer. Now, if you don't, what you need to do is probably download Java on your computer. So open up your browser 
and open a new tab and go to java.com and then what you can do is download Java and install it and then after you've installed it come back to Forge and right click on it and then press open with and you press on choose another app and you need to look for Java TM platform SE binary and then press always and then it should go and run. If it still doesn't run, you may need to do something called a jar fix and I've got a guide for that in the description of this video. So once you've got the mod system installer running, press OK and it's going to go and install. It shouldn't take too long and it's now gone and finished. So press OK and then what you want to do is go to the bottom of your computer, click on the search and type in run. And then you want to go and type in percentage app data percentage in the bottom left of your computer. Click OK and then you want to go into dot Minecraft and you need to find the mods folder. As you can see, here it is. If there isn't one here, then just right click in an empty space and create one. I've got mine here though, so I can double click on it. Make sure any other mods are deleted if they're outdated and things like that. Otherwise it may cause crashing. And then I'm gonna go and drag the mod we downloaded in here. And that's it. Now what we can do is go and open up Minecraft. And in the launcher, it's super important you come over to the left and make sure you go and select Forge and then go and cl click on play. I just ran Minecraft and got an error here. It's quite unlikely you'll get an error, but if you do, it's usually gonna say what you need to do. So for me, I need to go and get, get something called super or block. So I came back to the mod download page and actually, yeah, it's a compliment. So I need to get the super or block. So I'll then click on files here and I'm gonna go and download the correct version. So yeah, I'll do exactly the same steps as I did to go and install the other original mod. So we'll go and skip once I've got it installed on the server and my own client. I've now installed the other required mod. And when I click on mods, as you can see, I've got them installed here. So now what I can do is go and join the server. So I'll go and click on multiplayer. I'll then click on direct connection and I'll join the server. And just like that, I'm now joining a server with mods. I just set my game mode to creative to show you it's working. And then when I go into armor, as you can see, I've got all of this uh, stuff which to do with the mods, like the super diamond chest plate and the super emerald leggings and loads of other awesome stuff like that. So that is how you can install mods on your Apex server and then join it yourself. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.